hey guys, we're at New York Comic Con and we're going to ask people some weird questions. Here at Comic Con with Anonymous. My name is Garrett Howard. Uh, your real name? Uh, Lucas. Alex Becker. Your real name? Uh, yeah, that's my actual name. No, no, your real name. Yeah, Alex Becker is my real name. Like your real name? Uh, April O'Neil. Maura Keegan. Your real name? Carmen San Diego. There we go. I'm Wolverine. From X Men. They call me Shaggy. Uh, who is Shaggy? I'm Zatanna Zatara from Young Justice. So, uh, I'm just going to ask you a couple questions, and uh, I want to know your response. They're nothing too serious. No politics, no uh, world views, issues, anything. It's just a couple silly questions, and it will be done in a couple minutes. Is that fine? All right. First question. What would your what would your ideal scent for a rock be? For a rock? Yes. Like, from the ground. A rock from the ground. A rock from the ground. Scent for a rock? Slightly mysterious, you know, with a, a hint of maybe something delicious, but mostly mysterious. Hmm. Uh, probably smell like fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass. Scent for a rock. Oaky. A nice bouquet. All right, that's cool. Something that sticks around for a little while. That's cool. That's cool. For a rock. Yes, for a rock. A mysterious one. Oh gosh. Um, like the ocean. Ocean. Um, I'm thinking something very like. Um, mm, a rock, like dirty, but maybe uh, like ideal. Dirty but not too slutty. Dirty but not too dirty. Dirty but not too slutty. There we go. <laughs> maybe like a deep purple. Deep. Deep purple. Try to put the the color purple into scent, and then that would be a cool rock smell. Right. Violet? Maybe. Th that could work. Purple rock. Like a cool purple rock. I could. I could. I could, I could smell that. I could smell that. Uh, my ideal for scent rock V is pretty much the idea of. Maintaining control of justice. Chestnut? Huh? Your your ideal scent for a rock. A rock? Yes, like a pebble. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I thought you were Uh, I have no idea. Second question. Uh, how many people have you seen today that made you go, man, I really want to put my lips on, on his or her lips. Like, just that good looking. None yet, but I just got here. Um, I don't know, maybe like... Three or four people. Uh, any like cosplayers or in particular, or just like uh. uh no, not really. Not that I can think of. Oh God, like so many. So many. Me too. So many like to count. I can't count on both of my hands. I need like ten hands, to, maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> you're the first. Oh. But it's going really well. Oh, I'm awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't change a thing and, and don't get nervous. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. I can't really answer that, like, you know, like, yeah, she's right there. Your wife? Yeah. Oh, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. None. None. None of them made you want to, like, none? You know what? I won't deny that, man. Um. Other than me. Right, right, right. <laughs> I can't really think about that. I, uh... To be honest, not really many. If you were to like uh, characterize yourself as a Powerpuff Girl villain, who would it be? Hmm. I don't really know. I 
Um, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo, you're very uh, sneaky and uh, very loud. You loud? You loud? No, I just, he has like these like big plans and always goes big. <laughs> um, I don't think I know enough powerful <laughs> villains. I know there's a green one. And I'm pretty red, so I would character myself as the opposite of that. Uh, what's your name? I don't forget her name. Blossom! Blossom! Tough, mean, and vicious. Alright, alright. Um, I forgot his name. The one, the lobster. Yeah. Oh my god! Not high heels, that's me. <laughs> I should have cosplayed as him. That would have been awesome, actually. Do you know his name? I, I forgot his I forgot his name. But that, yeah, that's me. It's like, uh, Claw? Claw man? Claw, Claw something. Bubbles, dude. Fucking rebel. I mean, day one. I'd have to go with the monkey. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow, let me think back to the 90s here. Um that I can relate to. I had to think about this one. I'm sorry. No, I just like, it's been so long since I thought about the Powerpuff Girls. I don't know if I can really relate to one per se. You could be a villain or one of the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. I do kind of like Buttercup. I think she's my favorite. Yeah, you look like a Buttercup. Yeah. Claw something. I don't know. Have you ever scared someone in public without knowing? Like accidentally or just like, you know, walk up to them and they went, ah, like old lady at the time. Like look at my face. <laughs> you can't be, come on, that's not that scary. Look at this one. Yeah. Yes, I have. Do you have a story? Um, you know, you come around a corner too quick, you walk into somebody painting the house with a toothbrush, you know, and, and mine's occupied and startling happens. Yeah, a bunch of times. Uh, do you have like a story? Uh, one time in band camp. I'm just playing. Uh, I don't know any right now. <laughs> no, no I pressure. To come up with something off the spot. No pressure. Yes. Do you know? Do you have any stories? Uh, not real. I mean, it's just like it's a random scare. So I just, well, I guess I didn't do it. I did it one time uh, in my office, actually. I was knocking on a, um, you know, a cubicle, and um, the t my two coworkers were just talking or whatever. And I, I scared the shit out of my my boss. He like he jumped like literally like a, a foot or two in the air, and my other coworker and I just like died laughing. Yeah. How? Story time. Well, I accidentally attacked them from behind because I thought it was someone I knew, <laughs> and it was not that person. <laughs> oh, man, I never did that. <laughs> Oh my god. I a friend grab him from behind, and it turns out it wasn't the person I thought it was. It happens. I'm sorry for your loss. Probably. Uh, do you have like a story? Uh, mm, I mean, I've come up behind somebody and they didn't, they didn't know where I was, so they were freaking out, thinking that they lost me. Uh, have you ever scared someone in the street by accident without even knowing? Really. Happens to me. Too. Happens to me sometimes. It's, uh, it's sad. You gave her a heart attack. Uh, it happens. How are you liking the day so far? Is it weird that, that I actually expected an answer from that bus? Like, 
face is so good. Mm. I expected an answer the first time I tried that question. Do you look good in skinny jeans? Yes, but like bell bottoms are my thing. I pull them off way better. I, Keep I it feel 70s. You. I feel you. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's Carmen San Diego, guys. Come on. Do I? No, I don't. I have like huge thighs. So, like, it, pants are hard for me. Jeans in particular, or like any types? Any type of pant. Very hard for me. I do. I can see that you do. Thank you. I've been working on my glutes probably for like six or seven months. Can I see them? Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of deadlifting, you know. So. Yeah. Can can you can you show the camera? Syndrome where you basically have no ass. Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to work on that. You know? Yeah. I mean, it looks like, it looks great. Yeah. Make it seem naked. Uh, yes. I've gotten some mixed uh, answers with that. I've gotten some mixed answers with that. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you look good in skinny jeans? No. Same. All right, uh, the last one. Have you ever played Super Smash Bros. Melee? Yes, I fucking have. All right, awesome. Okay, so this is a situation. You're in the Fox Dinner, 1v1. Wait, what's going on? Okay, so let's say this is a situation that you would be in playing the game. Uh, you're in a Fox Dinner with someone else, someone who's playing Fox. Oh, you're Fox. Playing Fox. Yeah, okay. and you're also Fox. Okay, so he does some crazy combo on you, makes you go up to 120%, and then he pushes you off the ledge, and you're grabbing off for your life. And he's like ready to attack you, he's just jumping up and down, shooting lasers at you. What's your ideal strategy to get back on? How close is he to me? He's uh, pretty close, he's like half of the half of the stage. He's shooting laser beams, I'm probably gonna drop that town B, I think it is, throw up that blue shield, and try to bounce that shit back. And just Strong forward A hold and just throw him for the best. That's great. That's good. That's good strategy. Well, distract him. My face, swing around my leg, catch him behind, and knock him off. Optimal punish. I'd probably flip over him and kick him off the ledge. With what button? I don't know, honestly. Oh uh, well, I'd pull out whatever sort of equipment I have, stab him in the leg, pull him off, and then I'd come back up. Optimal punish. Well, most likely I'd be Bowser. I'd jump up, then jump down, sit on him, send him flying. Bye bye, I win. Um, I would use Fox's like quick move, and I would get away from the um, get away from the other Fox, and then I would like roll and grab him and throw him off the ledge and shoot him with my gun. I don't use Fox a lot though. I'm not very familiar with Fox and his moves. Who do you use? I love Jigglypuff. Oh, Jiggly's my girl. Um, obviously Lucas. When Lucas is available, not in melee though. Um, so Ness. Ness. Ness all the way. There we go, Ness. Let's go, Kevin. Um, hopefully I get, I would kick up and, you know, shield my way, you know, past him until I can get around him and kick a shot at him instead. That's smart. All right, last question. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? All right, thank you so much. Hi, thank you. Okay, one last question. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? Can you get a kiss on the cheek? Yeah. Dude. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Take care. My cheek. Kiss you on the cheek. Okay. Eh. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, I don't, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. 
Can I get a kiss on the cheek? No. All right. That's good. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do whatever you want down there. Subscribe if you, if you enjoy. And uh, until the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> So I, you saw me unbox this before, and I, I'm gonna give this to the first kid wearing a dope ass Star Wars costume. Before we go, I just want to say that it started to rain, and it's really bad. In the arms of an angel, I am to... <coughs> <coughs>